Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition. Here today on the channel, we have episode 5 of my Pergamon series. Here today, we're going to continue our war against Tylus, an ultimate invasion of Greece and Thrace. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. So, we've got a full stack pushing to Apollonia. Uh, we've got a secondary army here up in the north, securing the valuable lead supply. We might even push into Illyria as well, but we'll see how we go. And then, of course, once we've taken out Tylus, uh, we might go after the Idrisian Kingdom and then... Oh! Athens! They've attacked me. What in the hell? Alright, I uh, wasn't expecting that one. Oh shit, they might take Pello if we're not careful. Well, hang on. Um, let's just try and sue for peace instantly. Welcome. Oh. Why do they do that? Old and there is much to do. So if you um, it, yeah, sometimes that happens. So hang on. If Plato we had really good relations memory. with them. I'm surprised they did that. Maybe because of the money that we just got? Because we just completed a bunch of victory objectives so thankfully the conquests here in Illyria and in what was Epirus are recently re recently re um what the fuck was that recently so, uh soon so they haven't had time to like rebuild the garrisons uh in these areas because they were formerly under Greek control before the Tylus barbarians marched on in all right so just got to keep an eye on the Odrissian Kingdom, but if we take that one piece of territory in Illyria, that should be the end of Tylus. Okay, so they're actually trying to go to Pella, which is annoying. But we will have to keep an eye on the treacherous Athenians. So, we fought a really good battle against him in the last episode for Pella. So... They shouldn't have much more left militarily. Nah, we're just out of range, which is annoying. So, hopefully, if we take this, we should be able to start them on the path of attrition. But they might take Pella still. We'll see how we go. So, a little bit annoying that we've got, like, one weird piece of territory in Illyria. But, like, whatever. Um, uh, maybe Consecrated Grounds. We will need to get our sanitation on point as well. Uh, let's move my spy down here. Because I'm curious to see what they have in these three pieces of territory. That's what we own. So, let's move the navy around. Because one of them's there. And then we'll try and go after this, I suppose. Alright, let's uh, end the turn and continue. Tylus have no pieces of territory left. So, uh, it should be the last one. We're going to retake Pella, unfortunately. The big brain play would be to vassalize and bring back Macedon, you think, to get some units. Oh, they just sacked it. What? Uh, let's hunt the pirates. Why did they do that? Really strange. I don't think I've seen that happen when they've got no territory. You'd think they'd take it. Uh, anyway, if we get rid of this, is that the last of them? Nice. It should be. Is it? Yay! Tolus is destroyed. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's make plans to go to war against Athens. I've actually made a change of plan. I'm actually going to go to war against the Idrisian Kingdom. Um, because they're just annoyingly next to our kingdom here. Uh, we're going to ask these guys if we can join their war against them. Now, they've got like an army here on the outskirts. Also, we can see what's happening down in Egypt. The Seleucids have all of Egypt under their control. Which is really unfortunate for this Pergamon campaign that the Seleucids have done amazingly well. They are so, so tough. Oh, shit. Well, the army we've encountered is actually better than ours. Because those Thracian warriors and skirmishes are fantastic. Look, you know what? That is actually one of those unique situations where if we fought this on the field of battle, we actually might lose that. Those Thracian warriors are fantastic. They're going to out-skirmish us 
and out infantry us as well. So let's quickly get rid of them, and then we'll get the secondary army to push towards Polpadava, and depending on the odds, we'll play that one, maybe. If not, we'll go against Athens. Bro, Athens keep on attacking me. What the fuck? We're back at war with them. Are they going to let me sue for peace against them? It's kind of wild if they do. God damn it, Athens. I will listen. <laughs> yeah, they're going to accept peace. <laughs> I'd rather not sign a non-aggression pack. I'd rather just have the trade or the money if I can. Uh, the money will do. Dude, they're like paying us off as well. Yeah, there must be some weird thing that's hard-coded that we've taken a certain amount of territory that they're wanting to come in and fight. Anyway, we'll take Polpadava and bring all of the entirety of Thrace under Pergamon control. Oh, there's a small army pushing to Odessa, but... Uh, if I force March, I might better stop them. Yeah, about there. That'll do. Alright, let's convert that. Perfect, that'll do. Yeah, so unfortunately they're going to probably... Attack Odessa. Odessos. Oh, they're not going to take it. Quite often they do. Oh, anyway, we should be able to crush them then. And hopefully that's the last of them. Nice. Is that... The yeah, they're defeated. Hell yeah. Okay, so I've skipped a little bit ahead. We're ready to declare war upon Athens on our terms now. They've got a small army in Sparta, a navy in Athens itself, and then their larger army in Larissa. We've got two full stacks on the border. Let's bring all of Greece under heel, fellas. Yeah, so five turns apiece. No matter. Let's uh, move everyone in and have the battle for Greece. Kicking things off with the Battle of Larissa in 198 BC. And then we brought most of the territory in the Aegean Sea under our control. Couple pikes and decent looking infantry here and there that we have to be slightly cautious of. But nothing too hard tactically, this one. Alright, let's uh, try and surround these guys as best we can. I do quite like the look of that shield. Looks sick. Anyway, we've got our own additional reinforcements coming on in as well. Okay, so some of the units that are defending in Hoplite Wall will send one in to just basically pin them down while the rest try and flank around and wrap. Unfort unfortunately, looking at the design of this city, it's quite narrow, unfortunately. So it's going to be a little bit tough for our infantry to navigate through the city streets. Okay, that's good. Now let's try and flank with the rest. That's what we want. Try and hit them from the sides and rear. That's what I want.
Nice, things looking good. Right, let's get this cavalry involved. A couple of them are wavering, but unfortunately for me, they are holding. So, once we take Larissa, the breadbasket of Athens, we should be able to potentially starve out the city of Athens itself. Sparta will be relatively self-sustaining, but we're putting on the pressure on them. Fierce fighting is breaking out in the narrow streets. Well, that's what they get for attacking us twice. <laughs> and needing to pay us off. The battle is turning in our there must be some... squabbling and... fractured... Sort of political opinion in Athens, I suppose. Some want war, some don't. And uh, some are willing to accept a payoff. Oh, nice, those reinforcements are in. Perfect. Well, let's get everyone bar those slingers. Infantry, just to try and make your way to the town square. Uh, flank around with the cavalry. Uh, these skirmishers just need to be formed up so they can shoot a little bit clearly and effectively. They've got attack orders. Nice. Uh, those skirmishes are dragging us around here. Oh, dude. Like, that actually first push there, we've been crushed and surrounded ourselves. Fucking it up. That's not good. We're going to lose a couple units in this one. All right, let's form you up here slightly. Because we're going to out-skirmish them. Yeah, who would have thought that Athens would be the dominant power in this one? Macedon, Sparta, and Epirus. Destroyed and dissolved. Now you might be thinking, well, how did Athens get Sparta under their control? Well, surprisingly enough, Sparta went to war with Epirus and took their territory, while Epirus flanked and went around the other way and took it from a time. Yeah, believe it or not, Epirus held Sparta for quite a while, and then that's why the Athenians had a justification to move on in. But if it wasn't for me coming on in and shaking up the apple cart and the hegemony, uh, he hegemony in Greece, they probably would have had a quite successful campaign. Because whatever faction holds Athens, Sparta, and Larissa, you would imagine would be the dominant power in Greece. To take the rest of it, hell. Maybe even most of the east. Crazy campaign. How the AIs conquered and taken territory here and there. To be fair. I'm still kind of shocked how well the Seleucids do. My boys, the Seleucids, always do fucking trash. <laughs> Particularly in a recent series. Nice. So with this reinforcements come on in, we've wiped them. But they are still holding, unfortunately, in some small sectors of the city due to their pikes. But thankfully, due to the blacksmith in Mazaka, we're able to forge tier 2 weapons and still limited armory. I opted to go with... Attack and weapon supremacy over armor because we don't really need that with hoplites. But a decisive victory. We deployed 6,000 6, men launching the invasion into southern Greece. 
And we've managed to knock out a large 3,000 strong Athenian army in Larissa. You would imagine that would be at least half, maybe even a minimum a third of their total available manpower and um, armed forces crushed. Which is good for Pergamon. Kicking the balls. <laughs> to top things off as well. Right in the uh, good old cajones. Alright. Let's occupy this now. And um, what do I say? Horses for courses and wheat in Larissa. Okay. Like, even now, Larissa produces a crazy, like, that province, that area in modern day, ancient, uh, modern, ancient Greece, now in modern Greece still, produces a bunch of food. Alright, so if we get the navy to come on in, we should be able to take Athens. Itself, the city. Thanks to the amphibious attack. Nice. Perfect. Let's occupy. And now the Athenians and Spartans are going to defend together in one final stand in their last piece of territory in Hellas. Uh, Knossos seems to still control Crete, which is interesting. Uh, we can't get any more agents. Alright, well, let's rally up. They want a peace treaty. Hang on. Should we client state them? <laughs> because I don't mind Athens as a faction. I'm really tempted to do it. Just fuck. Yeah. Three, 2k and they we landlocked them. We've pinned them down in Sparta. Because it's not that valuable of a territory. Like we've already got marble. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's pop it. The Athenian Spartan contingent. Oh god. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, he died. Uh, one of my dignitaries. But yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do something a bit different in this campaign. So, we've taken Athens. And the Helots. The Macedonians. The bloody men of Epirus. Athenians and Spartans can hold uh, the lands down in and around Sparta. Uh, do the Seleucids want any alliances? Oh, dude. They've been carved up in... Syria and Mesopotamia for whatever reason. But uh, this is what we can currently uh, control. We've actually gone out and hit my short victory conditions that I set out to achieve. I wanted to get all the Black Sea colonies under our control. I did want to try and get all of Ankara, but I don't think that's likely. It'd be a war with the Seleucids, which uh, we've got really good relations with. Um, and I have no really ambition to go against them. Uh, we've got all the Thrace and Greece under our control now. Oh, Bactria's come on in. Interesting. Dude, they hold the Levant. Oh, wow. Uh, Sardis is still hanging about. But we are now the dominant power in the Black Sea. There's no Black Sea colonies there. And, yeah. Well, I think we'll put a pin in the campaign here. Episode 5. Let me know in the comments. Depending on your feedback, suggestions, the likes, the comments, the views and stuff. We could do a longer campaign of this because there are other factions we can go against. Rome. Stop that Bactrian incursion. We could maybe, now that they're being attacked, go after the Seleucids, which is still quite strong. Um, also, can we change to an empire? Uh, we don't have... Oh, we first of all don't have the Imperium, just we don't have the money. Well, maybe I should change, because we are a kingdom. We can change to a Republic or a League. A Hellenic League, that would be kind of cool. Or should we be a Republic? What's better? Civic is pretty good. Yeah, let's change to a... Hmm... Minus 20% upkeep for all armies. But, and the tax rate... A league actually might be better. And we get military research instead. Huh. Uh, maybe let's go with a republic. Yeah. The, um... Pergamon Republic. 
I kind of like the uh, the sound of that. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Feedback and suggestion. Would you like to see more of this series? With our newly acquired Athenian vassal. Should we um, continue this Pergamon story? Or should we end it here and be like, look, we started off in small humble beginnings. We dominate the top half of Anatolia, the Black Sea, and now Greece. Is this the height of the um, Pergamon kingdom? Now Republic. We should be cool. We've done a lot. We've caught, we've carved out a really cool piece of territory. Or should we go on a bit longer? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching once again. Got to say a huge thank you to this month's YouTube channel members. Massive thank you to Divine Overhand, Mikey, Eric, Chuckles the Hut, Green Nero One, Dimitri H, and Hector Pay. Really appreciate those guys. But my name has been Simsy. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.